finally, statistics that prove homeschoolers have an advantage over just about everybody. So stick around because the last one is hilarious. First, the research I'm talking about is from official peer-reviewed studies. Lots of them. And the vast majority prove that homeschool is better. Let's start with the reasons people homeschool. One of the reasons is that homeschool parents want to customise their child's learning. No more one size fits all. If a student wants to study the history of pygmies or how to make a marshmallow, well, they want their kids to be able to learn that. Also, parents don't want their kids to be limited simply because of their age. You know, saying things like, your son cannot use oil paints because he's not in fourth grade yet. And parents want their kids to have the best learning style for them. If their kids do best with assignments that are hands-on and interactive, then that's okay. They won't be forced to sit still and move or vice versa. Parents also homeschool so they can have better family relationships. Siblings can learn together instead of being stuck in separate classrooms. They also don't want their kids to be bullied or far worse. And you know, a lot of the time teachers in conventional schools, even if they are close, they're limited in what they can do in a dangerous situation. So, that's reassuring. And they homeschool so they don't have to be worried about their kids being tempted by drugs or alcohol. They also like knowing their kids aren't being psychologically abused or being taught about unhealthy and improper sexuality. And when conventional schools closed in 2020, it really motivated parents to start homeschooling their own children at home. Check out these stats. So the US had 2.5 million homeschoolers in 2019, but there were over 9 million in 2020. That was the whole COVID lockdown thing. That's more than 6 million in a year, huge growth. And when schools closed in 2020, there were a lot of parents who didn't want their kids to stop learning just because of the school shutdown. Conventional online school did not work too well, especially for kids in grade schools. And so parents decided to step in themselves and do the work. Until about a decade ago, homeschooling was considered pretty radical. Now it's being accepted as mainstream. Research shows that homeschoolers are better off in almost every area of their life, including in adulthood. All the popular arguments against homeschooling are being shut down by official research. All the popular arguments against homeschooling are being shut down by official research. And I should say from many countries. And it's not just limited to one people group either. Parents' education level, income status, ethnicity, religion, and political standing. They have no bearing on their choice in homeschool. And by the way, if you are homeschooling and you need a little bit of help, you have to check out my homeschool parenting program. This will take you through all of the foundational things you're wondering about. You're thinking, oh, I don't know if I can homeschool because it looks really complicated. Well, do the homeschool parenting program. It will fill you with confidence. I put the link in the description box down below. And speaking of income, one way homeschooling really benefits the whole community is by making the taxpayer burden a whole lot easier because homeschools have to support themselves. In the US, get this, as of 2023, taxpayers spent $16,500 on each student in public school. And so during the 2021 to 2022 school year, get this, homeschoolers save taxpayers. Are you sitting down? over $51 billion. All lines are busy, please hold. Taxpayers don't pay for homeschool students and the cost for homeschool students is only about $600 a year per student. $600 a year per student. So where does that other $16,000 of tax money go per student? Hmm, seems like a lot of wasted money, especially when you look at the following stats I'm gonna tell you about. But really quick, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and it helps you out because you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. So first, 87% of the research shows that homeschoolers do better than public schoolers when it comes to social, emotional, 
emotional, psychological development. And wait for it, they participate in social activities on a regular basis. <gasps> no way. Homeschoolers don't have to deal with the abuse, the neglect, and the fatalities that sometimes happen in public school. And you're gonna love the gender statistics. One homeschool researcher found that homeschool girls have the strength and resistance to ask questions. They have a strong sense of who they are. In other words, they're okay with themselves. And okay with being girls. Research also found that homeschools can adapt the curriculum to boys better than public school can do that. Boys are naturally more energetic than girls and find it hard to just sit still for a certain amount of time. In public school, a high number of the special ed kids are boys. Boys are also diagnosed with ADHD 2.5 more times than girls. As a side note, my own brother who was diagnosed with ADHD and found school really hard because he couldn't sit in his chair was fine when he was homeschooled because he could do whatever he wanted. And that was when he took off academically in the homeschool situation and not in the school setting. And so to sum it all up, Homeschool girls won't be panicking because their nose is too big. And homeschool boys don't have to be labelled with a disability just because they're acting like boys. Sounds like a win-win situation to me. And the academic statistics are great. 78% of the research shows that homeschoolers score 15 to 25 percentile higher than the public schoolers. This is standardised tests we're talking about here. And they usually outperform them on college admissions too. They also score higher on achievement tests regardless of their parents' income and education. And surprise, surprise, it does not matter if their parents are certified teachers or not. Now, think state regulations make a difference for homeschoolers? It's almost like parents know how to teach their kids better than public school. <sighs> and another interesting find is that more and more colleges want homeschoolers to attend their colleges. That's a complete turnaround from the days when homeschoolers had to really prove that their education was legit. And even then, their chances of getting in were pretty low. But what about after homeschoolers grow up? More good news because a high percentage of homeschoolers hold on to their parents' values and beliefs. And 69% of the research shows that adults, whether in college or on the job, perform better than public schoolers. They're also more likely to participate in the community, to vote and to attend public meetings. And here's the kicker for you. Who are the professionals most likely to homeschool their kids? Teachers, of course.